To ensure that your lot lasts, it is important to keep up with the maintenance on it. We recommend seal coating every two or three years because a seal coat not only protects the parking lot from sun, chemical, and water damage, but it also gives the lot a new appearance. The first seal, about six months to a year after an overlay, is indeed the most important one. The crew uses a combination of heavy-duty blowers and hand tools to remove all dirt, grass, and other loose debris from the lot. Typically, this material is blown to the side, but if the material begins to mount, we will haul it away. Once the lot is as clean as it can be, it is ready to be sealed. However, if the customer wishes to have some crack sealing done, we will seal the cracks before we start sealing the lot. While the hot rubberized crack filling material is heated into liquid form, weeds and other excessive dirt are removed from the cracks. We fill the deepest cracks with gravel or trap rock. This trap rock forms a base on top of which all crack filler can rest. Trap rock is unnecessary in shallow cracks. After the cracks have been properly prepared and the crack filling material is heated, we generally use metal pour pots to apply the material in the cracks. Pour pots are useful because they offer a wider range in the work area and hold a generous amount of material. Immediately after application, we use a V-shaped squeegee to level out the material so it is not bumpy. The crack sealing material cools and cures within a matter of minutes. It is important to note that not all cracks will be sealed. Crack filling material is designed to be applied in straight line cracks. These are singular cracks between one-fourth and one inch wide. Any smaller and the material won't penetrate, and any larger and the material won't adhere. Additionally, clustered cracks or alligator cracking are not filled. Areas of alligator cracking should be patched. As crack sealing is being performed by some men on the crew, other men on the crew will begin to outline or edge the lot. This process is similar to cutting in a room that is about to be painted. Only instead of brushes, we use soft bristled brooms and squeegees of varying sizes. We use these tools to outline around light standards, buildings, pipe bollards, gutters, and concrete structures, all while taking great care to keep the unforgiving sealer on the pavement. All outlining is done carefully by hand and many factors are taken into consideration when outlining. But in all, the main idea is to keep the sealer on the asphalt parking lot only. Our competitors splash sealer on bricks, spray white vinyl fencing, and slop sealer on nearby cars. St. Louis Paving's elite crew of seal coaters takes every step necessary to avoid such carelessness. We even have car covers at our disposal that we can use on windy days. After the lot has been outlined, we spray the sealer on the surface so that all areas get an even coat. Entrances and exits receive a second coat of sealer, and oftentimes the St. Louis Paving Estimator will offer the customer an option to apply a second coat in the drive lanes. We offer this option because a second coat helps the surface stay blacker longer and the drive lanes receive the most traffic and thus wear the fastest. The newly sealed parking lot must be allowed to cure with no traffic at least overnight. Longer curing time may be required in shady areas or in cooler times of the year. After some curing the lot can be striped. The scheme is laid out using chalk lines. After that the lines and symbols are painted on using state-of-the-art line striping machines. As the new seal is driven on, tire marks from turning cars and trucks will appear on the surface. This is completely normal and will eventually wear into one uniform color and texture. If the lot is striped directly after sealing, the traces of sealer picked up by the tires can be deposited back down on the bright paint, dulling or discoloring it. It is because of this scuffing that we recommend waiting a few days to stripe the lot. It helps the stripes stay brighter longer. If our customer schedules require immediate striping, we will of course accommodate them. Depending on temperature and humidity, the lot can be open to the public about an hour after striping is complete. 